Today is Disability Advocacy Day. The Tennessee General Assembly filed an official proclamation. Just last year, Six on Your Side's Kristen Gallant now shares how people in our area continue to push for equality for those in the disability community and for their families. No, one minute you're active. Um, I relied on, you know, my physical ability for my job. I was very active in sports and outdoors prior to my injury, and and then all of a sudden, within seconds, you know, the ability to be able to walk and um, perform activities of daily living was gone. Carly Pearson went from fighting fires to fighting for equality for those with disabilities like herself. I was a wildland firefighter for the Park Service, and unfortunately, was injured in a wildland fire in 2002 out in Oregon. She's been using a wheelchair ever since, but she hasn't let that stop her from doing the things she loves, like hand cycling, rock climbing, and sled hockey. She wants others with disabilities to have the same opportunities. It's making sure that, that people are able to get out in the community and, and to not feel like they can't go somewhere because of a barrier that we have within our infrastructure. One in three Tennesseans have a disability, which makes up 1.6 million people within the state. It really is a community. We need, to, we need to be able to be a community, to provide for each other, and, and to not exclude folks. And I think the more transparent we are with our needs and our, our hopes and our dreams, the more we can accomplish. The Tennessee Disability Coalition hopes to fight for policy changes and easier access to essential support and services. A lot of times people with disabilities have to go to more doctor's appointments and, and they're frequenting uh, places that may have a higher risk for COVID. So the telehealth has, has really, it's been a great positive influencer for people with disabilities because first of all, they don't have to leave the comfort of their home. Friday, several locations across Tennessee, including the Henley Bridge, will be lighting up blue in support of the disability community. It's a reminder that advocacy never stops. In Knoxville, Kristen Gallant, WATE 6 on your side. Kristen, thank you. You know, there are several recent bills that have been uh, put in place to help those with disabilities and their families. And for a full list of those, you can go to our website at WATE.com.